and they shall rule over their oppressors. And they shall rule over their oppressors. Go ahead. Verse 3. And it shall come to pass in the day that Yahweh by some Yahushad shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear and from thy hard bondage wherein thou wast was waste made to serve. Play the day, man. So when are we going to get our rest from our hard bondage? When we're in the kingdom. When we put back in that land. And the curses going to be on us? No. No, man. So you see how it works? See how the precepts work, man? So anybody that calls themselves the first, okay, to say, oh, I'm, I'm from the tribe of Judah, but they really ain't, okay? I'm from the tribe of uh, 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 Judah, but I, but tomorrow I'm from the tribe of Ithacot. <laughs> you can't do that, man. Oh, you get a damn, or you get a damn Hamite to say, to say, uh, no, you get a, you get a Japhite, okay? You get one of the Japhite to say, oh, I'm from the tribe of Zebulun. Okay, you can't do that, man. You get an Edomite to say, oh, I'm from the tribe. I'm from, I'm, I'm one of the sons of Ishmael. Man, you can't. It don't work like that, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you get an Edomite to say, oh, I'm Moab. You know what I'm saying? Like he, like he descended from uh, uh, the Chinese, sitting there saying he Moab. But see, when you go back into the history of when these Edomites came into power, that's why when you watch these movies, they say they're the last place. Or they're the last samurai. You see, man, that's Esau. And when you go into the history, when you read in the Joe people about, about uh, uh, when the Greeks came into power, when they came into power, man, they started taking on, they started changing the names of the land, man. They started taking people's heritage and saying it was built. That's the same thing Esau do today. Because why? The Western world take on the customs of the Romans and the ancient Greeks. Which are, which are, which are, which are today, which are, which they took that from Jasper. <laughs> okay? You had a guy by the name of, uh, Arthur, Arthur Kostler. Uh, hold on. What is it? Uh, no, not Arthur Kostler, but uh, dang, what's that guy's name that, that was on the uh, island of uh, he went to the island of Crete and uh, uh thoughts escaping right now. Uh, yeah, he went to the island of, of Crete and he found out about the uh about the uh, uh about the real Greeks, how they were dark skinned. I forget his name. He was a uh I think he was an archaeologist. I forget his name. But uh hey, I tell you what. I'll put his name up. I'll put his name up right now. You can look right now. It ain't escaping. Arthur Kostler, uh goes back to the 13th tribe. But this guy that I'm talking about, uh, he went on the island of Crete and he found out that the real, the real Greeks were dark-skinned people, man. Okay? And then you had, then on top of that, man, when you go into the history about uh about uh, Alexander, Alexander father, Alexander father, uh, uh, Philip of Macedonia, man, he had to, he had to, uh, he had to overthrow, he had to overthrow the actual Greeks that was in that land because they they didn't even accept him. They looked at the people that was in uh, in uh, I want to say in uh, uh, in Macedonia as barbarians. The Greeks that was uh, over there in the state of in the, in the, in the uh, state of Greece, they looked at uh, at the people over there in Macedonia uh, as uh, barbarians, man. The real Greeks. So Philip, uh, 
uh, had to overthrow them, and they didn't even accept him as a Greek. He had to overthrow them, man. You see? Going into their history too, man. You see? But uh, I forget the guy's name who uh, who found out that uh, that the actual Greeks were dark skinned. But anyway, I'll put his name up. You can see it right now. Okay? But uh, what, I, what I was looking for is uh, read that again. And uh, possess us. And uh, yeah. Uh, we'll start from the part where he said, uh, "Take them uh, captive." This is uh, Isaiah chapter fourteen, verse two, and the people shall take shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of Yahweh Basham Yahushai for servants and handmaids. That's right. So what it is is so what it is is these nations, when Israel get back into that land, when we put back in that land, Lord willing we endure to the end, these nations are going in slavery, man. Okay? Which there were strange to have nothing to do with no heathen, man. It had nothing to do with that. But uh, I want to go to uh, Romans. I want to go to the Rom Romans, the ninth chapter. I ain't had y'all hold that, did I? No, no I just oh. Okay, finish that off. And they shall take the captives whose, whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. Yep, that's what's going to happen when we get back in that land. Start at the top. Romans 9. This is Romans chapter 9, verse 1. I say the truth in a Mashiach, I lie not. My con conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Spirit that I gave, that I have great heaviness con continual sorrow in my heart. Verse 3, for I could wish that myself were a curse, a curse from a Mashiach for my brethren, my kinsmen according to the flesh. All right, now go back up. This is Romans. All right, give me uh, Exodus 32 and 32. Because I think it's all right. You know what you got. I right? need to read. This is Romans chapter 9, verse 1. I say the truth in a Mashiach, I lie not. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Spirit. Right. Verse 2, that I have that I have great heaviness and continue. continue sorrow in my heart. Right, because Paul was in deep pain. Why? Why was he why was he like that towards Israel? Why was he like that towards Israel? Because of uh Romans the, the, the tenth chapter, because Israel uh, they know it's a, they know it's a power in the heavens, but they not according to knowledge. So that's why Paul was in continual sorrow, man. That's why he was feeling like that uh, uh, when he came to Israel, because they didn't know the heavenly Father and His Son according to the knowledge, man. Like they were supposed to know, man. You know, they didn't know, man. Okay, so that's why he's talking like that. Let's read that again. This is uh, Romans chapter 9, verse 1. I say the truth in a Mashiach, I lie not. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Verse 2, that I have great heaviness and continued sorrow in my heart. Yep. Why? Because Israel didn't know the Heavenly Father and His Son, according to knowledge, man. When you read, when you read uh, Romans the 10th chapter, go ahead. Verse 3, for I could wish that my, myself were accursed from a Mashiach for my brethren. So, Paul, hey, when I was looking at this, Paul was basically saying, uh, if you got a precept Bible, if you got a precept Bible, because some of these Bibles got precepts in it. So I'm going to have the brother read what Paul was actually saying, man. Give me uh, uh, Exodus 32 and 32. 
He it's, said he wish he was a curse, man. So Paul wish he could be, you know what I'm saying, crucified or or separated, separated from Israel in order for Israel to make it, man. That's how that's why Paul, Paul was in, in heaviness, man. He was in continual sorrow, man, because he wanted Israel to get it, but they couldn't get it, man. So I'm gonna read what the pre the brother gonna read what the precept is to that particular verse. Go ahead, bro. This is Exodus chapter 32, verse 32. Yet now, if thou wilt forgive their sin, and if not, blot me, mm -hmm. I pray thee, out of thy book, which thou hast written, mm -hmm. verse 33. So that's it right there. So Paul wanted to be blotted out, man, in order for Israel to make it, man. That's, that's a heavy burden, man. He was, he was ready to be blotted out, man, for Israel to make it, man. So go back over there, and we're going to look up that word curse, man. Matter of fact, I'm going to look it up. Yeah, we're going to look up that word curse. So Paul, basically, like, he'd rather be a, a sacrifice or rather be blotted out, man. That's what the precept is, man. They go to Exodus 32 and 32. And that's the same thing Moses was saying. I'm going there. I'm looking. I'm, I'm getting over there. Pull out the blue letter. So Romans 9. Right? Yeah. Come. 9 and 3. Well, let's see here. 9 and 3. To myself, where I curtain. So let's see here. Right here, man. I'm gonna just 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 the definition I want up out of here, man. Anathema. Anathema. Strong. Strong. G. Thirty-three. One. Okay. Strong three. Strong, 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 one, okay, anathema, and it says, this the one I want up out of here, man, it says, a thing devoted to power without hope of being redeemed, as if an animal to be slain, therefore, a person or a thing doomed to destruction, a curse, a man accused, de devoted to a duress of woe. So Paul was saying, I'm going to read the definition again. It said a thing devoted to the power without hope of being redeemed. So Paul was saying, look, blot me out, you know. That's how much sorrow and heaviness he was for Israel. He wanted them to get it. He wanted them to get understanding, but they couldn't. So he was like, look, I, I, if they could get it, I'll get blotted out. Shit. Yeah. That's what Paul was saying. He said a thing devoted to power without hope of being redeemed. And if an and if an animal is being slain, therefore a person of a thing doomed to destruction. That's what Paul was saying, man. Now I'm gonna go to the root of this. See if we can snatch out of there. Uh, 
you ain't giving them nothing. Oh no, I done went too far. That's safe messing with me. Yeah, went too far, buddy. I don't know, somewhere wrong. But anyway, anathema. I just deal with that. But basically, Paul, Paul was saying, look, I'd rather not even be redeemed, man. Just block me out. So read that again. This is uh Romans, Romans chapter 9, verse 3. Where I could wish that my that myself were accursed. Basically, not even redeemed. Being blotted out, doomed to destruction. Go ahead. From a Mashiach, for my brother, for my brother, man. Go ahead. My kinsmen, according to the flesh. According to the flesh, not somebody who converted. Saying they are saying they are Israelite. Go ahead. Verse four. Four. Verse four. Who are Israelites? Who are Israelites? Not what, not what they were saying back in Esther, in Esther 8, and, 8 and 17. Not that. You know what I'm saying? Not them fake Jews over there that, that stole our nationality. And then you had this guy, you had this Jake up here last week thinking that them gutter rats over there are the real Israelites. Thinking they the Jews. Craziness, man. And that's what they teach over there in them churches. What's that? New Life Church over there? That's what they teach over there, man. That's why he was in a confused state, man. That's why I titled it the way I titled it, man. You know what I'm saying? That's why, because they can't... Hey, man. They not of the Most High, man. These people that come up on us, man, they can't really hear us, man, because they not of the Most High, man. They not of y'all by Shemal Shot. So whenever we tell them something, it fall on deaf ears, man. But like I was saying in the video, hey, I was doing that. I was doing that for y'all viewers, man. I wasn't doing that for him because I, I, I knew he couldn't see it. You know? Fall no deaf ears, man. He's not up y'all by you know, shot. Now I ain't saying at that particular time right then he couldn't see it. But I ain't saying that the most I can't alter his mind where he can get it. But at that particular time standing in front of us, he ain't see nothing. He rejected. He said salvation for everybody. Yeah. Go ahead. To who pertaineth. The adoption. Who pertain to the adoption? Yahweh Shah, Israel being part of the covenant, okay, having that inheritance, and Yahweh Shah was that sacrifice for Israel, man. For the elect on this side. Go ahead. And the glory. And the glory. All the honor that comes with it. Dealing with all the blessings. The new bodies, take the curses being off of you. All that. Go ahead. And the covenants. And the covenants. He said the covenants with the S. Who got the two covenants? Israel. Okay? Statue Law of Command was given to Israel, man. The second covenant, they're gonna have a statue law of commandments in their inward part. Okay? Go ahead. And the giving of the law. And the giving of the law. All that right there pertain to Israelites, man. According to the flesh. Paul brother. Go ahead. And the service of the Most High. And the service of the Most High. What's the service of the Most High? Being a priesthood, serving Him, man. Matter of fact, look up there. Service to service. Matter of fact, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. We're going to get it first. Oh man, it's Satan. That's my fault. Yeah. Boy, say boy. I had to go all the way back out. I was on there. I had to go all the way back out. What number we at? Uh, verse 4. Uh, 